purpose of this demo, we will use a freeware editor. Start by creating a project with the following properties. 16-bit, 44.1k frequency. Now generate a sine wave. In the frequency box type 1764. Set length to 1 second and amplitude to maximum. Once the wave has been generated, you can verify it. One cycle should be exactly 25 samples long. Export the file. Check that it is 16-bit. Press OK, and this completes the first phase of our task. Second step is to transfer the sample to the ASR. You have three options. One using translator software. Two using digital inputs outputs. 3. Using classic analog method, although this is not recommended for this particular task. Keep in mind that most ASR units feature digital input-output, and so do most of professional sound cards. One coaxial cable is all it takes. Once you get a sine wave sample, inside the ASR, using any of the previous methods, it's time to map it. Press Edit, and select Wave Sample 1. Press pitch and select range from C2 to C7. Press pitch again to select root key and set it to A6. Now we have to loop and trim the sample. First go to edit. Select wave 1. Press wave button. Set loop mode to loop forward. Because we learned earlier that one cycle will have exactly 25 samples, set loop end to 25 samples. Now set the sample end to 25. Press Command, press Wave button, and select Truncate Wave Sample. This gives us a primitive single oscillator organ. Not too impressive, right? Time to fix the envelope. Press Edit Amp, and set Volume to 30. Press Envelope 3 and set Envelope equal Full On. Now we will add Vibrato. Press the LFO, set restart to 1. This is to ensure that all layers will have modulation perfectly in phase. Set depth modulation as following. Now it is time to create another layer. Essentially we are building an additive synthesizer in here. We will use each new layer as additional harmonic. ASR offers 8 layers, which means 8 harmonics total. This includes the fundamental. So now we will create a new layer. Press Command Layer. Press Edit. Select Layer 1 Wave Sample 1. Press Command Wave. Select Copy Wave Sample. Press Enter twice. And select to Layer 2. Press Enter. Select Parameters only. Press Enter. Press Edit. Make sure Layer 2 is selected as well as Waveform 2. Press pitch, and select root key A5. This gives us a harmonic one octave above. From this point we are essentially doing the same thing for each additional harmonic. Press command layer. Select create new layer. Press edit. Select layer 2 wave sample 2. Press command wave. Select copy wave sample. Press enter twice. Select to layer 3. Select copy parameters only. Press edit. Layer 3 and wave sample 3 should be selected. Press pitch. Set root key to A7. This plays at one octave below initial pitch. So, this gives you idea how an organ sound is being built. As you add new layers make sure they are enabled. Press edit instrument and go to patch window. You can also use this window to quickly manipulate organ sound. For more refined harmonic adjustment, you should press Edit. Then select Layer and Wave Sample. Then press Amp, and adjust its volume in real time. When it comes to note pitch, you can choose any note and come up with all kinds of crazy sounding organs. In here we created one with three harmonics placed three octaves apart. You can choose any pitch by adjusting the root key. Experiment here. Good starting values are fifths and fourths, or an octave plus fifth, or two octave plus fifth, etc. Now comes the last part of our job. 
we will prepare a nice house organ playing a chord with some effect and then resample it. Beware, if you intend to resample chords, the more layers you add, the less notes you will be able to play. So in 30k mode with 5 layers you will be able to play octave minor or major chord. In 44k mode this is not possible. Because if we use 5 layers, and each layer takes 5 voices, that means 6 notes played at once will take 30 voices. This is also another reason, why we use resample. Now go to effects, and for example, select 8 voice chorus. Remember, that we set vibrato to modulation wheel, so at this point you can apply some modulation wheel action if needed. See what suits you best. Strike a chord and resample it. For example, press following notes, C2, E flat 2, G2, G3, B flat 3, D4. This will give you a nice house chord. Now sample 5 seconds of it. Don't forget to normalize it by pressing command and up. While there, set boost to off, you won't need it after you normalize a sample, because you risk clipping. And of course apply crossfade loop. A small advice, never use the fault values there. First set loop position to 30%. Then go to loop crossfade. When asked use default value, press note, then set scale depth to 3 dB. Press right cursor and set zone percent to 30%. Last tip, when resampling chorused instruments you might get a click at the beginning of a recording. Use a fade in process and set it to a value of 4. This will remove the click while preserving the initial punch of the sample. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips in the future, press the like button. From my cold dead hand.